Got an SSD, but your system still feels slow? Game stuttering? Long load times? You might be dealing with hidden storage bottlenecks that Windows doesn't warn you about. In this video, I'll walk you through a full checklist of storage-related tweaks that help unlock the real speed of your SSD. And yes, some of these are totally overlooked by default settings. Let's start with the highest impact changes. 1. Enable write caching for faster writes. Windows might not have write caching enabled on your SSD, which can slow down file transfers and even in-game asset streaming. What to do? Open Device Manager, Expand Disk Drives, right-click your SSD, Properties, go to the Policies tab, check Enable Write Caching on the device. This improves write speeds significantly, but beware, if your PC shuts down suddenly, you could lose unsaved data. Use with a UPS or on a laptop with a battery. 2. Disable Windows Search Indexing. Indexing helps search files faster, but constantly writes to disk in the background. What to do? Press Win plus R. Type services.msc. Find Windows Search. Double click it. Set startup type to disabled, then click stop. This helps reduce background disk activity and extends SSD life. Three, disable sysmain. Sysmain is a Windows service that preloads frequently used apps into RAM to make them launch faster. This was helpful back in the day when systems ran on slow HDDs. But if you're using an SSD, the speed difference is negligible and sysmain can actually hurt performance by using up memory and increasing background disk activity. Steps to disable? Press Windows plus R, type services.msc, and press Enter. In the list of services, scroll down and find sysmain. Double-click it. Click Stop, then set startup type to disabled. Click Apply, and then OK. On SSD-based systems, app loading times are already lightning fast. Disabling sysmain just ensures your system isn't wasting energy trying to optimize what's already fast. 4. Turn off scheduled defragmentation. If you're using an SSD, Windows may still attempt to defragment it periodically, especially after major updates. While SSDs don't suffer fragmentation the way HDDs do, Repeated defrag operations on solid-state drives can reduce their lifespan over time. For SSDs, trim is the important maintenance feature, not defrag. What to do? Press Start and search for Defragment and Optimize. Open it, then select your SSD drive. Click Change Settings. Uncheck Run on a Schedule, Recommended, or manually exclude SSDs from the optimization list. We'll verify that trim is enabled in the next step to ensure your SSD is being properly maintained. 5. Check trim status and enable if needed. Trim is a key feature for SSDs. It tells the drive which data blocks are no longer in use so they can be wiped internally. This keeps your SSD fast and responsive over time but sometimes trim isn't enabled by default, especially after fresh installs or cloning drives, so it's worth checking. How to check trim? Open Command Prompt as Administrator. Press Win plus X, then click Command Prompt as Admin or Windows Terminal as Admin. Type the following command and hit Enter. FSUtil, you'll get one of two results. Disable Delete Notify equals zero, trim is enabled. Disable Delete Notify equals one, trim is disabled. To enable trim, if it's off, just run this command in the same command prompt window. Why trim matters? Without trim, your SSD retains deleted data in the background, which leads to slower write speeds and system lag over time. Enabling it ensures that your SSD stays clean, efficient, and maintains peak performance. 6. 
configure or relocate the page file. The page file acts as backup RAM. Windows uses it when your physical memory starts running low. But if it's poorly managed, like constantly resizing or sitting on a slow drive, it can cause noticeable stutters or hitches during gameplay or multitasking with apps like Chrome, Discord, or OBS. What to do? Open Page File Settings. Right-click This PC. Click Properties. Go to Advanced System Settings, left panel. Under Performance, click Settings. Switch to the Advanced tab. Under Virtual Memory, click Change. Adjust the page file. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for all drives. Select your system drive, usually C drive. Choose Custom Size and set both initial and maximum size to the same value. Example, initial size 4096 MB, maximum size 4096 MB. This prevents resizing overhead. Optional, move it to a faster drive. If you have a second SSD, select it instead and apply the custom size there. Then, set no paging file on the slower or original drive. Benefits This reduces sudden I.O. spikes, avoids disk thrashing, and helps keep your system smooth, especially during memory-heavy games or multitasking with apps like Chrome, Discord, or OBS. 7. Tweak Storage Sense or Turn It Off Storage Sense is a built-in Windows feature designed to automatically free up disk space by deleting temporary files, emptying the recycle bin, and cleaning up system files. While it's helpful for keeping your drive tidy, it can sometimes run unexpectedly in the background, especially during gameplay, causing small but annoying performance dips. How to adjust Storage Sense? Open Settings and navigate to System, Storage. Click on Storage Sense to open its settings. From here, you can either turn it off completely if you prefer to manage disk cleanup manually, or set it to run only during idle times or at a custom schedule so it doesn't interfere when you're gaming or doing heavy tasks. By controlling when Storage Sense runs or disabling it if you want full control, you reduce unnecessary disk activity, which helps keep your gameplay smoother and your system more responsive. 8. Registry Tweaks for Disk Optimization Important! Always create a system restore point before applying registry changes. Use these tweaks at your own risk and only if you're comfortable editing the registry. These tweaks target hidden Windows behaviors that can affect disk responsiveness, I.O. priority, and system memory handling. Done right, they can make your SSD feel snappier and reduce random storage-related slowdowns. How to do it? Open Registry Editor by pressing Win plus R, typing RegEdit, and hitting Enter. Navigate to the following key. Inside this key, look for two values. Priority, D-Word, if it doesn't exist, create it as a new D-Word 32-bit value. Set its value to 6. Scheduling category, String value. If missing, create a new String value and set it to High. This tells Windows to assign a higher priority to game processes when managing disk I.O. As a result, your games get faster access to storage resources. 2. Disable Large System Cache Only for non-server users This tweak helps optimize memory usage by preventing Windows from reserving excessive RAM for system-level disk caching, which is primarily designed for server environments. For typical gaming PCs or everyday use, disabling this can free up more memory for games and applications, improving overall performance. How to do it? Open Registry Editor by pressing Win plus R, typing RegEdit and hitting Enter. 
Navigate to Find the value named Large System Cache. If it doesn't exist, you can create a new DWORD 32-bit value with that name. Set the value of Large System Cache to zero. This change tells Windows not to allocate large portions of your system memory for caching disk operations, which is a setting more useful for server machines that handle heavy network or disk workloads. 9. Clear Delivery Optimization Cache Windows uses delivery optimization to share updates and apps across devices on your network. Over time, its cache can build up and cause unnecessary disk usage, which might lead to minor slowdowns or stutters. How to clear the cache? Open Settings and go to Windows Update. Click Advanced Options. Scroll down and select Delivery Optimization. Click Advanced Options again. Press the Clear Cache button to remove stored update files. For a thorough cleanup, run Disk Cleanup. Type Disk Cleanup in the Start menu search and open it. Select your system drive, usually C. Look for delivery optimization files in the list, check it, and click OK to remove. Doing this periodically helps free up storage and can smooth out disk activity, reducing random spikes that might interfere with gaming or intensive tasks. SSDs are fast, but only when Windows gets out of their way. With just a few changes, you can eliminate stutters, reduce background I.O., and make your entire system feel more responsive. This won't magically double your FPS, but it will help your SSD perform like it should. If this helped, hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more honest performance guides with no BS. See you in the next one.